In this video, I will package brief browser's executable installation file into MSI file. And the main reason is to deploy the software using Go policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, here in the bottom, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find a video about how to install Wix. Also, I have a few videos about Windows Registry. And that's because Brave Browser is a bit complicated when it comes to software deployment because Brave Browser installs under the user account. And that means that it needs to be installed on each user on the computer if we want to install it for all of our users. So to achieve that, we will be using Windows functionality called Run Once and Active Setup. So if you want more details about how everything works, check out the videos that I have here. And here I have a video about psexec and that's because I will be testing the MSI file that we will be creating using psexec and that's because psexec allows us to execute the installation under the system account. And most of the deployment software deployment tools are using system account to deploy the software so I want to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to install the software. So let's start with the video and let's begin by downloading Brave. I will use the link that I have here. It brings us to the Brave browser GitHub page. And that's because if we click on the release here, we can see that we can download different types of installation files. And currently I'm looking for this one, Brave browser standalone silent setup. Basically this executable installs Brave browser silently without any switches. So it's very convenient. So I will click on it and it should start the download. Now I will go to my downloads folder and let's wait for our executable. And here it is. Now we need to package this executable into MSI file. But before that, let's talk about how this MSI file that we'll be creating will work. So for that, I will go back to my GitHub page where I have a few bits of information. So what's special about this MSI file that we'll be creating is that it will not install the software, but instead it will prepare the computer for the software installation during the login process for each user on the computer. And we are doing it in this way because Brave Browser, like I said, is a software that installs under the user account. This means that each user on the computer needs to have his own copy of Brave Browser. And also he needs to perform the installation himself. But we can help him uh, to do so by creating active setup and run once registry key. So the user will be installing the software himself without even knowing about it. And the MSI file that we will be creating will perform two actions. One of them is to place the installation file in C program data packages and GUID. And I will be explaining the GUID part a bit later. And the other step is that it will create active setup registry key that will be creating our own once registry key during the login for each user. And after all that, the installation will work like this. The user will sign into the computer. Active Setup will create a run once registry entry, then user's desktop will load and run once will start software installation for that user. And now let's start creating our MSI file and for that I will scroll up a bit and here we have a few more files. And as you can see we have this Wix configuration file that's called Brave and this is already finished Brave configuration file for Wix. And you can check it out if you want to, but for this video I will be using this template one. I'll click on it and as you can see it's instructions for Wix on how to deploy the executable for us. And we only need to fill in the information that's right here. I'm using templates because Wix can be a bit complicated and I make it a bit easier by creating templates and then reusing them for my MSI files. It's a bit a complicated tool but it's very flexible. So let's download this configuration file and for that I will click on this button right here. And then I will go back to my downloads folder where we have this template Wix configuration file. I will rename it first. I will call it Brave. And then I will use Visual Studio Code to open the file. And you can use any other text editor to open it. And now let's start filling in the necessary information. Basically, we only care about this part of the configuration file right here. First, we need to provide a name for our MSI file. So I will name it Brave installer then we need to provide the executable name and for that i will go to my downloads folder and here we have our executable so i will right click on it click rename 
then I will select the full name that includes the extension .exe. Then I will right click it once more and click copy. Go back to my configuration file and now I will provide the name right here. Next, we need to provide the path where we currently have the executable. So for me, it's d slash downloads. And now we need to provide a version number. And this is not the version of Brave Browser, but the version number for this MSI file. In most cases, I like it to keep the same version for my MSI file as my executable, but for this video, I will only give it 1.0.0. Then we need to provide the publisher. Basically, it's who is making this MSI file. So in my case, it will be let's do automation. And this is not important, but it's a necessary field. And then we need to provide a GUID, and a GUID is a unique identifier for this MSI file. So to generate the GUID, I will go back to my GitHub page where I have this PowerShell command right here. So I will copy it. Then I will go to my terminal and I will paste in this command. You can open a normal PowerShell window and it will work fine. And every time that we use this command, it generates us a unique, uh, unique in identifier. So I will copy it. Go back to my creation file and then I will paste in the value right here. And I will save the configuration file. And that's basically it. It's all the necessary steps that we need to do to create our MSI file with Wix. And now we can use this configuration file to generate our MSI file with Wix. So for that, I will go back to my terminal. And here I want to change the directory to the directory where we have our executable and the Wix configuration file. And for that, I will type CD. Then it's my D drive. Dot and downloads enter and if i type there we can see that we have our configuration file here and the executable to install brave so the next step is to create a msi file and for that i will type wix build and then we need to provide the configuration file name so in this case it's brave and enter and if I go to my downloads folder, we can see that we have our MSI file right here. And it's almost the same size as our executable. And now the last step for us is to test the Brave Browser installation with our MSI file. So for that, I will right click on the MSI file, click copy, and then I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this virtual machine prepared for this demonstration. I will go to my software folder where I have my PSExec executable. And like I said, it's only to test the installation using a system account. So I'll paste the MSI file into this folder. Then I will go to my start menu, type CMD and I run as administrator. And yes. Actually, it's not even necessary to test and the installation using PSExec because like I said, the installation will happen during the logon process, but let's keep it simple and do the installation with psexec. So I'll type cd, paste in the directory where I have my Brave Browser MSI file and uh, psexec executable. If I do it there, we can see our files here. If I type who am I, we can see that I am current that this window is currently running under the admin account. So to switch the accounts, I will use psexec. I will type in the executable name, then minus i to, for interactive and minus s for system account. And then we are opening another CMD window with psexec. I will agree with the license terms. And now we have a new window here. And this time if I type who am I, it is saying that I'm anti-authority system. So once more, we want to change the directory to the directory where we have our files. And now we want to install the software. So for that, I will type in the MSI file name and then slash QN for the silent installation and enter. And now let's wait a bit for the installation to finish. And it's done.
and currently we only install the msi file but we don't have the software itself because like i said this is a software that installs under the user account and we want to install it for each user on the computer so the installation will happen during the logon process for each user on the computer so let's now look around and see what happened for that i will press on my keyboard windows button and r to open run i will type control to open the control panel if i go to uninstall a program we can see our program list right here we can see that we have the brave installer here that's published by let automation but we don't have the software itself yet so let's close this window now let's check the registry by going to the start menu typing reg edit and run as administrator and yes and if we go to local machine software wow 64 node and then microsoft and active setup installed components i think it's this one right here we can see that we have this registry registry key right here this is the GUID for our msi package and it's named brave browser and there is another registry entry that creates another registry key for the run once so this will be executed the, during logon for each user on the computer so let's close this because it seems to it seems everything is fine there now let's go to c program data folder and here we have a new folder it's underscore packages if we go inside once again we see a GUID and here we have the installation for brave browser and it seems that our msi file is working just fine it prepared the computer for the software installation so let's test it out and for that i will close all the windows that i have here and go to my start menu and sign out i will sign back in and let's see what happens so now we can see that we have our desktop i will try to open task manager and see if we can find the installation yeah as you can see we have a few processes running for brave browser it seems that it started the installation so now let's wait a bit and as you can see now we have our brave browser desktop icon right here that means that the installation was successful if i double click on brave browser it seems to be working just fine and this installation process will happen for each user on the computer once during the login process even for those users that will be creating in the future and that's it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more and see you in the next one